Oh, look, it, it was it was a really difficult week. Um, you know, I suggested at the back end that the boys were bouncing in and, and they tried their best. But I think what we saw was two flat teams today. Um, you know, very difficult after after the enormity of last week's Challenge Cup effort from both sides. To play five days after that was always going to be a difficult task. Um, and, you know, thankfully we did enough. Um, the way we started that second half in particular, we had to challenge the boys around finding something, and I thought we did that, and thankfully we, we came away with the two points. No, it was hard for both teams that. You know, uh, uh, I, I, I think I'd, I'd like to question understanding of five-day turnarounds, um, which both teams have had to do there, uh, and what, what a player has to go through to play on a five-day turnaround is, um, I, I think, uh, too difficult. Uh, obviously, you've seen with our team today, we've, um, you know, we had to push quite a few players for the semi-final and that put us under pressure today. And uh, I thought we battled hard, um, but, you know, just either side of half-time did for us, really. Uh, and we couldn't quite get the game back. Um, but well, that was tough today. That was really tough. And, you know, we couldn't get our game together. Obviously, we've had to move our nine out to play half-back. Lost our, both our pivots and... Um, and fall back from the semi, which then moves our nine. So uh, you know, most teams have struggled with that. But I thought we, I thought we worked hard, and we, we hung in there. Um, I thought it was an unbelievable first touch for Gary Gary, Jason Gary Gary getting. I was really pleased about that. Made up for him. Thought he was great tonight. Uh, yeah, I think the the try just before half time was quite crucial for us as well, and and probably more so crucial for those uh, players from Cast in the fact that they went in maybe a little bit dejected. Um, the start to the second half as well was impressive. So, um, yeah, really happy. I was so made up for him. I can't. I just can't tell you for a young bloke to to make his debut and and then do all that with his first touch. I thought it was fantastic. And uh, yeah, it's probably a bit over the top uh, from me, but um, yeah, people have been having a stick at me over many years for not uh, not smiling. And uh, yeah, that was a great moment. That you know, I think out of all of today. We want a lot to cheer about today, I think, with, with our game. And I thought the game as a whole was a really low quality affair. Um, but that was worthy of uh, of getting on your feet, I thought. Jake had some touches tonight, which show that how much class he has. Um, he's, I haven't seen many players uh, in my career with as much skill as what Jake has. Uh, he, he can just do things. You, you saw that try before half time, the way he caught it above his head and then just flicked it into one motion. Uh, just pure talent there. And, and I thought he was busy throughout the game, which we've been challenging Jake on as well. So really impressed with that. I thought Chris Sato again was unbelievable. Um, the start that he's had to this season has been immense and he's allowing us, uh, you know, to play up on uh, in the right part of the field at times. And, and I thought Lingy again was strong. So together, those two starting the way they do, uh, they're good for us. Well, y y yesterday morning, three players pulled out of our team run which is a regular occurrence at the moment. You know, obviously, it's, it's boys are creaking. They're just creaking. And, um, yeah, we had three pulled out. So, we just decided, you know, he's, he's trained with us. Um, I mean, he's, he's got – he's still at school. So, you know, he train, he's trained with us um, in, in school holidays and, and at weekends at times. And he's just always accomplished – been accomplished in, in what he's done. And, you know, he's a mature young fella. Um, so, yeah, it was uh, yesterday morning when he didn't train with us. <laughs> that was funny. He didn't even, train, didn't even do a team run. Um, and the RFL reduced as a, a sub uh, today because we uh, brought him in from outside the 20, 21, which I think is a sham. I think it's absolutely terrible. Um, 21 months ago, I, just, I don't get him anyway. But the, to take a sub off us today um, was appalling. You know, you, wait till you get to August. Uh, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, it's looking interesting that the season. Um, and look, we want the want we want the quality of the games to be to be high quality. And you know, obviously, there was a, two, both teams played in the semi final, and um, that game wasn't where you would want it to be tonight. You know, we had to come here and we had to do our best to get the two points. So thank, thankfully, we've done that. Uh, we won't look any further than literally recovering from this week because, you know, we're obviously now got some bodies that we need to look after and, and do their best to get back into the team. So uh, we'll see how we go.